Okay. So I was looking at a post where the female said that females break up with men mentally before they break up with them physically. I find that redundant because there's a lot of dudes out here right now that treat females like shit and then they wonder why they treat females like shit. This is the reason. Because you have no backbone. If you had a backbone and you told a man how you felt right up front, you're going to get exactly what the hell he's going to give you. And if you don't accept that, you can leave. Now, with that being said, you can't sit around and hold somebody hostage. Because that's all that is. He going to be more resentful to you and other women for wasting his time. It's going to start with whoever do it. Like, if you do that shit, you waste somebody's time and break up with them mentally. And then wait for them to fuck up even more. You know, don't get chances. Like, that's the problem. Like, we all get too many chances. Like, I feel like I'm going to tell you straight up what's wrong with me. And if you don't fix it, it's, it's over. Like, my biggest problem right now is that I'm super blunt. I'm super blunt. But... Yeah, I wouldn't sit there and try to wait for somebody to get simple shit together, like little shit, like, you know, when it's, it's big shit, you can wait, but little shit, like cheating, cheating is uncalled for in a relationship, it's unnecessary, because you can come to terms with whoever you're with, and you can have a vibrant, flourish relationship. And you can do it with whoever, like, if that person is willing. But it's not often that people find that, so that's why people don't explore that. Don't nobody talk about it that much either. But that's a whole other level of where I'm going with this. But never sit there and wait and dwell on little shit. Cheating should never be an issue. If somebody fucks somebody else while they're with you, they don't want to fucking be with you. Because sex is one major part of human relationships. This is facts. Without sex, would none of us be here? So if that's the defining characteristic in how much you love somebody, why share it with somebody else if you with somebody else? That's all I need to you. That's the everybody. Like, we all need to understand that. Once we understand that, I think that we'll be a little bit more better off. We'll be more healthier. We'll be more cool. Like, get laid back and we just be cool. Stress free for real. Because not cheating, I feel like, gives you the strength and the courage to move the way you want to do in life. Because when you're doing all this bullshit behind somebody's back but that you say you care of, you got to have it with a whole bunch of shit. And then that turns into some old negative shit. And all that negative shit, don't nobody need it. it. It destroys you as a human being. It breaks you down. That's stress. It's too much stress for you. Yeah, but uh, that's why people look old because they stress about what they've done to someone else. Your stress causes you to look old because you always thinking and dwelling on who you hurt and some of that energy, that negative energy comes on you. I feel like that shit goes through you and it makes you age. I feel like it. I only feel like when you do good things for people, you always keep a smile on your face. You're exercising the facial muscles, you know, versus when you're doing some wrong and always thinking about wrong, you're I always have wrong facial expressions. It can be deeper than that. I don't fucking know, but I just know that being a good person ain't never made me feel old or look old. So I'm just saying, who right? I don't know. Because the nigga gonna tell you straight up after he cheated on you, he did it. Why not? Just why right, he did it, I'm not gonna fuck with you. And if you do decide to fuck with somebody that did that to you, that's on you. That is on you. You gotta learn how to 
either forgive and move on and, and let them earn that trust again or stay in the shitty place never come out that's not cool ain't nobody that really love you gonna hurt you and if that's the only thing that matters in this world why would you why would you taint that like why would you fuck that up if you ain't never had that in your life, why would you hurt something? You know what I'm saying? Why would you love and then destroy your love if you never had it for real? People fucked up out here. But if you got a different mindset, you could probably win. You could probably have a prosperous life. Probably live a long time. Mm-hmm.